I'm like, girl, you have about 50 something, 60 something backs. You don't need anything, but we're wishing. So let's wish, okay? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my luxury wish list for 2024. Because why is it 2024? I'm not sure. Maybe really that rhymed. <laughs> but I do love sharing these videos every year just because I think they're fun. I also love watching them just to see what's on others' radar because it helps me plan the purchases that I'll be making. So if you guys would like to see all the luxury that hopefully I will acquire <laughs> that's on my radar, then please keep watching. Okay, so I always like to start these videos, well recently, <laughs> by saying I use these videos kind of as a guide to guide my purchases, but over the past few years, I've kind of withdrawn from like wanting to consume so much luxury. I also no longer do like large luxury hauls because that's just not the content that I feel comfortable sharing. And I, in the most humble way possible, I don't need anything. So um, I still think it's fun to write a wish list. Now, if you've watched these videos in recent years, you know that I don't stick to this. I am greatly influenced by the people that I watch. Sometimes one of my favorites might share something and I'm like, you know what? I loved that bag five years ago, I need it. This is just a loose, wish list of things that are on my radar that I hope to acquire this year but honestly like I just got a few back I don't need anything okay so this truly is a wish list um Usually when I look back at my wish list from years prior, I get two things off of there because that's just, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I'm not sure. Do y'all stick to your wish list? Let me know because I certainly do not. But without further ado, let's get into this list. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below if any of these items are on your wish list or if you have them or if you're into them or not. I'm always open to hear your thoughts and opinions. Okay. I'm gonna take everything off of this list that you've already seen on a previous year's wish list because like I said, I don't tend to buy just what is on the wish list, but I also don't wanna just repeat the same things every year. The first item on my wish list is a Bottega Veneta Mini Jody in patent. Now you all know the Mini Jody is one of my favorite mini bags ever. I have it in the color Elephant, I believe, which is a beautiful gray. And then I also have it in the shade Ribbon which is a beautiful like bubblegum pink. I love this bag so much. It's perfect, it's beautiful, it's vintage-esque in the intracchiato leather. It's super expensive to be so small. I should also note that I really only shop pre-love. If I am purchasing a bag with my money, I'm not marching into said store because I'm not paying those prices. Not nothing against those who wish to, but I'm always gonna grab a deal because that's just who I am. So I like pre-loved, even if I'm saving $100, that could be tax. So yeah, I'm here for pre-owned all the way. So I will probably be getting this bag pre-owned because brand new, they're just way too expensive. I think I'd like this bag. I wanna say there's a pink patent leather, but I have a mini Jody in pink. So they also have a turquoise and I know Maybe I've seen white. So either one of those I would enjoy because I don't have a turquoise bag or a white one. But patent leather is my favorite leather finish. So hopefully I can add another mini Jody to my collection. Not that I need one, that's the thing. When I start going through this wish list, I'm like, girl, you have about 50 something, 60 something bags. You don't need anything, but we're wishing. So let's wish, okay? The second item is the Dior Canal patent clutch. Now, I don't technically know the name for this bag. This bag first arrived on my radar when my girl Kelly Corinne purchased it many, many years ago. Um, this is back when she used to largely share just luxury videos like handbags and accessories, SLGs. And she has this bag in red. I think it's called the Miss Dior Promenade. And it is beautiful. Um, I, I won't get into that story, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> the bag is just gorgeous. It's basically like a wallet on chain, but more flexible without the rigid compartments. It's just like a pochette bag. I love it. I would like that in patent leather also, maybe like in an orange or a yellow. I just love it. It has a beautiful chain strap and that is also a discontinued piece. So obviously I'd have to buy that on the pre-owned market. And they do come on the pre-owned market for anywhere from like 300 to 800 dollars one was on the real real around the time when i bought my most recent chloe bag and it was like 350 dollars and i was just like girl you're already buying a bag do you really need it see i really try to be somewhat conservative with my acquisitions i really do talk myself down off of a lot of ledges and i decided to pass on it and then when someone bought it i was hurt <laughs> i was but I would love that bag this year just because it's a fun little throw on and go piece. And I'm not too much a fan of crossbody bags, like a true crossbody bag, but in something like a pouch, I like it. With a detachable strap also, I love it. <laughs> Next, I have the Louis Vuitton Monogram Croissant PM. And I am kicking myself in the shin because I own this bag as a child. I received this bag for Christmas one year. I wanted it so badly. I asked my mom to get it and I got it. Um, and then I ended up selling it. This is why I have so many bags now that I don't get rid of because I used to sell a ton. My bag collection used to be like a revolving door, but now I'm realizing the older I get, thank God for wisdom, that the styles come back, the trends circle around. And if you liked it at one point, unless you just don't like the bag for its functionality, you might like it again in 10 years. So if you have space to keep it, just keep it because this is a bag that I loved and now I would use it so much if I had it so this bag is becoming a little more popular I'm not sure why I guess one of the it girls must have worn it and now everybody's like what's this bag <laughs> but this bag was popular back in the early 2000s I believe because that would have been around the time when I got it that's my era with Louis Vuitton you guys know everything from the Alma to the Nice to the Babylon to the Salon the Salon, however you say it, the Cabas, the Vavin totes, like that is my Louis Vuitton era and that is where this bag falls. So I would love to add the PM to my collection this year. Next, I have the Polin YKE Wicker Basket Bucket Bag. I saw this bag one day, I think in an Instagram ad and I was like, you know what, I need it. So recently I purchased a Chloe Marcy Oh, I'm not even sure what you call it, but I purchased one of those for vacation. And I think because I have every bag I could possibly need, I want to start getting into more vacation pieces because my typical bag style is fancy and delicate and feminine and classic. And those aren't necessarily the bags I like to carry on vacation. I like to be a bit more carefree and fun. So I would like to get some cute vacation bags this year. And this one is just so nice. I love a good wicker. I love a good raffia, anything like that. I just think that's perfect for vacation. Not that I like going on vacation all too often, but when the time presents itself, I want to be ready. <laughs> so that's definitely a bag I want to try. And I have heard that Pollen, I hope I'm saying it correctly, is a great designer, but I've just never tried them out. Uh, some of their bags have previously been on my radar, but the style is just not necessarily what I want. But this baby is gorgeous, so we will see if she gets added to the collection this year. Okay, next is going to be a white Chanel bag. And I know, I know, I know. So I had like a Chanel era probably in 2021 during the Porsche Panamera. And I acquired quite a few Chanel bags. And I don't know why I necessarily want a white one. I just think it would be so classic and chic and just perfect. So I definitely would love that. But I'm also now kind of rethinking it as I say it out loud because y'all know I wear all black all the time. I also know that white is very much prone to color transfer so maybe that's not a great idea I'm not sure but for some reason I in my mind I want one so maybe I'm changing that to a beige Chanel bag hmm, I'm not sure but I would like to get a light colored very chic and classic and vintage-esque Chanel bag um, most of these Chanel bags I have are very fun they are seasonal pieces and so I don't have too many classics 
uh, Chanel pieces. So that's one I could definitely see being added to my collection. Next, we have another Fendi mini peekaboo. That is currently the bag that I'm using right now. I love the Fendi mini peekaboo. That is honestly my favorite perfect style mini bag. Now, I have not tried the newer style mini Fendi peekaboo, which I believe are very rigid. I'm not a fan of rigid bags too much, but the Fendi mini peekaboo is actually substantial and size for being a mini bag. You can carry a top handle and remove the strap. You can also carry a crossbody. It's a more fancy, elegant style than a traditional crossbody bag. So I do love it. I don't know what color I would get it in because I just have no clue. <laughs> Maybe like a brighter color, but yeah, that's the bag I'm currently using. I have it right now in like um, a burgundy shade and I love it. It's just such an easy wear everywhere bag that's very understated. So I would like another Fendi Mini Peekaboo. The next item that's on my list is the Louis Vuitton Mini Pleaty Denim. This is also a bag that came out in the early 2000s, I believe, and I've always wanted it. But in the early 2000s, if I wasn't being gifted it for my birthday or Christmas, I wasn't getting it because I was like, a young teenager and I couldn't afford to spend that much money on a bag. So now that I'm, you know, a little seasoned, it's fun being able to buy and add these pieces that I once really liked that I just couldn't afford. So we love being an adult, yeah? This is one bag that I just think is so cool and I do have a Chanel denim bag, but it's green. So this is more of just a traditional denim bag that I think would just look so nice with all black or with all white or even with uh, a Canadian tuck tuxedo denim on denim so that's definitely something I would love to add every year for my birthday I'm like I should get that bag and then I never get it <laughs> I think what happens is as time nears the summer the bag goes up in price so much and I'm just like absolutely not so I probably need to buy it around like this time of year so yeah, the mini pleaty denim bag from Louis Vuitton is one that I would love to acquire. She is just so stinking cute. I just love it. All these items are actually bags. <laughs> so next we have the Louis Vuitton Takashi Murakami Speedy 30. And this is the white multicolor bag that was very popular in, once again, the early 2000s. Largely made popular by Jessica Simpson. This was the era when she had the show Newlyweds on MTV. I watched it all the time. I even owned the DVDs. And you know, that bag for me, it's like, I vacillate with because sometimes I'm like, oh, I loved it back then. Maybe I would like it now. But then I'm like, girl, you only wear black. It would have color transfer and it's just so big. Like I own a Speedy in the Damier Azor, but I only own it still because it's like a classic. I don't wear it. But something in me is like, girl, that was your era. You need this bag. I think it would be cool to own that bag again. It would obviously only be something that I wear once a blue moon, but it's just so sentimental to me. And as you can see, most of these bags are just kind of nostalgic for me, so. Yeah, another bag that sometimes I look for on Fashion File, but then I just never pull the trigger. So I don't know what my problem is, but um, that would be a cool bag to own. Like if you were a bag girl in that era or you want it to be like myself, then that is just one of the bags that's just like, yeah. It's that and the monogramouflage. This was a monogram camouflage bag. And every time I see our good sis Monica, AKA Gunica, carrying this bag out and about, I love it. It is just such a statement piece, an archive piece. The only problem is that whenever I find them on the pre-owned market, they're about $10,000. So I guess I will have to wait quite a long time. <laughs> so that bag is not actually on my wish list for this year. That's like on my ultimate wish list because it's so expensive. But that is a bag that I could see myself carrying for like a month straight because I could wear it with all black and not have to deal with color transfer. But yeah, that was like my era with Louis Vuitton. So we love her. And the last item on my wish list, here we are, is the YSL Pyramid Bag. And I wanna say Pockets and Bows was the first person I saw with this bag. It basically looks like a triangular pyramid on a long strap that you uh, hand, 
Thank you, Carry It Handheld. It's just so cute. It's such a statement piece. Uh, as you can see with the items on my wish list, there are no real like everyday bags because I have everyday bags in my collection. I'm really focused now on getting era pieces that I loved 20 years ago. But this pyramid bag is just so fun and I think it would make such a statement. I don't know what color I would want it in, probably black, but it just is so cute. And I know I've heard that the leather is very, very soft and it gets scratched easily. But like if you're a bag collector, you need a few pieces that are just so ridiculous that are not functional, but just so cute and such a statement piece. So yeah, hopefully I will get to acquire a pyramid bag this year. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but that's what I call it. So the YSL pyramid bag. I just think that would be so fun. So yeah guys, that's basically everything on my wish list. Once again, this is a very loose wish list because if I don't get any handbags this year, I'll be content, but a girl can wish, right? <laughs> We like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just think these wish list uh, videos are so fun. But just to be honest, I'll probably only get two of these items this year because that's just how I roll. <laughs> I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.